uh, train and you head toward the east until you find the west, you'll never find it because it's a straight line. That's what's going to happen today. All of the sins in Austin's life that he's ever committed, the Lord's going to wipe those away like a chalkboard. He's going to have come up with a clean slate. The name of Jesus is going to be applied to his life. The blood of Jesus is going to be applied to him as well. That's what's awesome about this. So now, will he ever sin again? Oh, most likely he probably will. We're going to hope that he won't. Mom definitely hopes that he won't. But that's all right. Because now he's going to have an agent in his life that's going to help him to fight sin and overcome the temptations of the evil. Amen. Amen and amen. Jesus said, except a man be born of water and spirit, he cannot enter or see the kingdom of God. Then when they asked Peter on the day of Pentecost, they said, what must we do? Peter said, repent, ask for forgiveness of sins, die out to your sins, change your ways. Be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Can you receive the Holy Ghost? Okay. So he said, for the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. So we're going to baptize Brother Austin in Jesus' name here. Now, Austin, when you come up out of the water, put your hands like this. When you come up out of the water, I just want you to praise the Lord. Okay. Do it, do it. Just like we're talking to his friends or whatever. God is blessing on you and on your life. This is a whole new start for you. Okay? All right. It's a good honor to be able to baptize my son here. And uh, one of the things that uh, I've learned so much about him is that he uh, he knows the word pretty good and he likes to uh, uh, argue with me a little bit on the word and stuff sometimes. <laughs> you know, and he's good. He, he knows his stuff pretty good. And, uh, it's an honor just to um, be able to do this for him. And, uh, um, I'm getting ready to come up on a one year anniversary of being married to my wife and uh, him being part of my life and stuff. And it's been a uh, um, lot of learning for me and for all the three of us together. But I'm glad for what the Lord's doing in our life. And one of the things that uh, I want you to know, Austin, is that. Uh, when you become baptized and you come back up and stuff, you're going to see it life at a whole other level. Yes. You're going to see things through the Holy Ghost now because you just woke up with the Holy Ghost in your life. And uh, now that you have access to be able to uh, go directly to Him and ask Him for forgiveness, uh, any mistake that you're making in your life. After you, after you uh, come up through here, everything that you've ever done, it's gone on that train. You don't ever see that train come back. Okay? All right, go ahead. Since you notice. <laughs> Upon your confession that Jesus Christ is Lord is Lord, I shall now baptize you in the name of Jesus. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost according to uh, Acts chapter 2, verse 38. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 